Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a hypothesis test for a difference of two proportions. We're going to do this using Minitab. Now with Minitab, you can either use summarize data, which is what we're going to do in this particular demonstration, but there's also ways to use just raw data. Right? But we're just going to use the summarize data. And we're going to demonstrate this in the context of example two from chapter 9.3. Right? We have some data from Acadia National Park in 2012, and we're comparing the proportion of weekend days that are rainy compared to the proportion of weekdays that are rainy. And what we have here is that for weekends, there were 19 rainy days out of 36, and for weekdays, there were 29 rainy, rainy days out of 85. So we have these two proportions. For the weekends, it's 0.52778, uh, and for the weekdays, it's 0.34. 118. And we want to test the claim that the proportion of rainy weekend days is significantly greater than the proportion of rainy weekdays. Right? And we're going to do that um, with Minitab. And we're going to start off with this sequence of events. So I'm going to go over to my Minitab window. I'm going to hit Stat, Basic Statistics, Two Proportions. Now I have some options here where I can use summarized data. That's what we're going to do here. But we can also use one of these two options for raw data, which I'll get to in a different video. So we're going to stick with summarized data. And then it just asks you to input. Yours will be blank. I've already done this, so there's data in there. Um, but let's see. The number of events for sample 1, that's the number of successes, or x, the number of rainy days. So that's 19. And the number of trials, that's the number of actual weekend uh, days, which is 36, and then I enter the same for my weekdays. I have 29 rainy days out of 85. So those have to be input by hand, right? Um, okay, and so it's worth noting, if you're using my book, the, the date in the contingency tables is, is the transpose of how you have to put them in there. So a popular mistake is to put 19 here and then um, 36 here because it matches that table. But you have to remember that in, in Minitab, it, it goes vertically. Each sample is in a um, column as opposed to a row. Okay, so now we click Options. Um, confidence level, you can pick what you want. Usually it's 95, but that has to do with getting um, confidence intervals. We're not worried about that. We're worried about the hypothesis test. The hypothesized difference from the null hypothesis is that that difference would be zero and we're claiming that our difference is actually greater than zero. It's a right-tailed test. There's also options in this drop-down menu for a left-tailed or two-tailed test, but we've got a right-tailed test here. And we're going to use the pooled estimate of the proportion. You've got to remember that. Um, it's actually not that critical, except if you're using my book, uh, your, your answers won't match the answers in my book um, because we use the pooled estimate of the proportion for the answers in the book. So we're going to use that here. And you can use that so long as this hypothesized difference is 0. Um, if it's not 0, you actually have to use this other option. Um, but we're using a hypothesized difference of 0, so we're going to use the pooled estimate of the proportion. And we're going to click OK. And then click OK again. And the first thing it does is sort of re reiterate the um, information that, that we entered, right? The number of successes, number of trials for sample one, number of successes, number of trials for sample two. Um, it is giving you proportions from sample one, which was weekends, minus proportions for sample two, which is weekdays. And the results of the test look like this. We get a Z test statistic of 1.92 and a p-value of 0.028. Um, there's, it also, without being requested, conducts the Fisher's exact test and it gives you a p-value there. That is actually probably a more accurate estimate of the, um, the p-value. Um, but again, that's not going to match the answers in the book because um, we use what's known as a normal approximation um, and the Fisher's exact is a non-parametric test. So we're going to stick with the p-value that it spits out up here that corresponds to our z test statistic. All right, so p-value, our uh, main point of interest here is 0.028. So depending on your significance level, 
you may or may not reject the null hypothesis. If we had a significance level of 0.05, that would be great. Our p-value is less than that, and we get to reject the null hypothesis. And we get to say that the data supports our claim that the proportion of rainy days was significantly greater on weekends than on weekdays during that summer. All right. Pretty easy stuff. Hypothesis test for a difference in two proportions using Minitab. And we are done. Bye.